Working with MSF, of course, you know, you're within a big organisation. So right from the beginning, you know, you wear the uniform, you put the T-shirt on, you you sign up to the idea of being an MSF. And some, that gave me a sense of pride. I can't deny that. You know, I was very proud to be part of that. I always was interested in children. I was always interested in kind of emergency work. I started doing some anaesthesia just out of interest and it kind of suited my personality. My day job in anaesthesia is basically to provide um, anaesthesia mostly for kids, but I also have a long-term interest in kind of anaesthesia overseas, so I spend quite a lot of time doing work on that kind of area as well. As an anaesthetist in the UK, you know, we're, we're dealing with patients that we don't see for very long and we don't look after them for very long afterwards. So to work with people and to do some medicine and to work with people, you can actually you know, form a bond with the relatives as well as the patient is a really great thing. In terms of giving anaesthesia, anaesthesia, the, what, the end product is the same, but there are various ways that you can approach it. There's a standard way of doing it. Ketamine is a drug that um, everyone's heard of, probably for the wrong reasons, but it's the, the most useful drug in, in world anaesthesia, if you like. It's versatile, you can use it on anybody, any age, for any condition, but it has limits and it has difficulties in using it, and those are things that you need to be, you need to learn about, or you can learn quickly on the job, or you can become, you know, re-familiarized with, which is in my case. But it was, um, that's part of the challenge of it, and part of the enjoyment of it, I can't deny it. I mean, that was part of why I wanted to do it. We were available all the time, so 24-7 availability. We were the only surgical team providing trauma services in that hospital. So we would get call from the hospital. Uh, we'd go down to the uh, emergency room. The emergency room of the hospital working, even though it was a big regional hospital, was, was pretty under-resourced. People working hard there, but lighting shortages even in the middle of the day, water and sharps on the floor, patients all over the uh, rooms without any sort of seeming organisation and seeing patients with major injuries or gunshots or burns or small children with head injuries and then taking them to the operating theatre to, to do the operation and to do the surgery and that was most of the pattern of the working day. We saw one guy that had a, his arm um, severely fractured with an open fracture due to being bitten by a camel and that kind of an argument he got into with the camel. And the most remarkable thing was a guy who had uh, a sort of large scalp wound and uh, the most fantastic repair had been done by um, some local um, healers up in the village and his scalp wound had been repaired quite beautifully using thorns off a tree and it was almost as though the guy had had surgical training, maybe he had, but it was a beautiful job and even the local Chadian surgeons had never seen anything like it. It was an astonishing bit of work, it was beautiful. I'm lucky enough to have five kids. My wife is also a doctor and they, they know that I do this kind of work. And uh, I think they were apprehensive when uh, I was going to get posted to places like Afghanistan. In fact, my 10 year old son was kind of in, almost in tears worrying about that. But they, uh, I think they're kind of proud actually. I wouldn't like to say that, but I think they're proud of talking about what their dad was doing in Africa. You know, it was a good thing for them to talk about. And I told them about it and involved them in it. And, you know, it was, they're interested, you know. Working overseas and working with people that uh, are dealing with the resources they have, working in the places that, uh, that MSF work, it's endlessly fascinating. It's challenging, you work with good people. You know, there's some negatives, of course, like everything, but I wouldn't hesitate to recommend it. But I would say start early with your application because it's not the most straightforward or quickest. <laughs>